My adventures have brought me to the Charlotte Monroe Executive Airport here in Monroe, North Carolina, where the Warbirds over Monroe Air Show is currently underway. I'm starting in the military encampment area where I found this M3 half track, a World War II era vehicle and a sort of first generation armored personnel carrier. Here's a couple of nice looking M38 Jeeps, likely dating from the Vietnam War era. Nice, there's a Thompson machine gun tucked under the cover there on the dashboard, as well as what looks to be an M1 Garand holstered and hanging from the A-pillar. This is an M151 Jeep set up with a wire guided tow anti-tank rocket launcher, and that one with a 23 inch Xenon searchlight. A high mobility, multi-purpose wheeled vehicle, or Humvee. This is an M35 transport vehicle, the successor to the M135, old deuce and a half World War II era transport. Moving over toward the flight line, I see an A1 Sky Raider, an F4F Wildcat, looks like a Mustang and a P-40 Warhawk in the background, and two T-28 Trojans. Here's a couple of UH-1s, which will be giving rides shortly. Looks like it's time for the air show to get underway, which begins with a couple of AT-6s doing some low altitude bomb drops. Next is a Pitts biplane, piloted by Clemens Culling. He pulls up to the vertical, kicks full left rudder at the top, and points the nose back toward the ground, rolling one and a quarter times, and pulls back on the stick, flying down the runway center line. Re-entering stage right, he pulls back to the vertical, rolling the aircraft. Running out of airspeed, it stalls and tumbles over the top. Spins once as it reverses direction and heads down, regaining airspeed. Approaching from the right again, there's a nice slow roll while flying down the center of the runway. Flying in from the left, he pulls up to 45 degrees for two rolls to the right. Here's one of the UH-1s air taxiing down taxiway Alpha with two T-28s in the background waiting their turn to depart. The first two of the full throttle formation team is on the takeoff roll. Once all 12 of their aircraft are airborne, they'll begin to join up and form up. With the full throttle team all airborne, here comes that flight of two T-28 Trojans. Entering stage left is the P-40 Warhawk, American Dream. Smoothly pulling up into a steep climb and rolling left. Another one from the right.
Sounds as if he's strafing targets on the ground. Streaking in from the left. He's really pulling the coal to that Allison 1150 horsepower engine. Here's the first pass of the full throttle formation team with a flight of 12 Vans Aircraft RVs making up the formation. Here they come back around after a reconfiguration. There's a Huey heading out, likely to drop a squad on a recon patrol. Here's North Carolina's very own P-51 Mustang, the Swamp Fox, taxiing out for departure on runway 5. The Huey seemed to be plenty busy this afternoon. It looks like the T-28s are back, circling and getting ready to land. Now off goes the P-51. Here's one of the craziest things I've seen at an air show. A jet-powered truck racing an airplane. Here comes a Grumman F4F Wildcat, accompanied by a Douglas A1 Sky Raider, followed by the P-40 and P-51 screaming in from the right. The Wildcat was an early World War II aircraft, while the Sky Raider came out very late in the war. The P-40 is back, strafing targets of opportunity. Followed by the Sky Raider, which saw a lot of service during the Vietnam War. Finishing up with the Wildcat. The air show had quite a collection of static displays, like this C-54 which dates to 1943. Old timers might recognize this as a Douglas DC-4. And here's Monroe's very own Tinkerbell, a Curtis C-46 transport. There's even a nice reproduction of Wally Shiraz Mercury capsule, Sigma-7. Airwood Aviation, the company I ran airplanes from, even has a tent at the air show. With 7 Mike Mike, one of their Cessna 172s, as their display centerpiece. I believe that is going to do it for my explore of this year's Monroe Air Show. Remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride and thanks for watching.